Hi, I'm Samantha Anderson, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Depoly. So did you know that every year we make 20 million tons of pet plastic, but only 9% is actually recycled? This is because our current recycling system is broken. And unless our pet plastic waste is ideal, the current recycling system can't deal with pet plastic that's dirty or pet in the presence of other plastics like PVC. And if you think of things like shirts or textiles or fabrics, anything that's downgraded, this type of pet plastic doesn't get recycled either. So every year we end up incinerating millions of tons of pet plastic while relying heavily on the petroleum industry to produce new virgin pet to meet our consumer needs. Now, with the world moving towards sustainability, we need to go from a linear to a circular economy, and at Depoly we do just that. We take the low-valued post-consumer pet plastic waste and we convert it back into its high-valued original chemical components at room temperature. The raw material that we make can then be sold back to industry so that they can make new virgin quality materials. And with our technology, we can process all the pet plastic waste that the current industry can and can't deal with, which means that we save time, money and resources. For us to do this, we work with agencies who would collect the pet plastic, for example, like UTO, which is a central waste management company in Valet, or TextAid, which is a clothing reclamation company. We recycle this, and then we give the chemicals back to industry. And industry can either remake new virgin plastic out of this, or they can sell this to, for example, academic labs. For us to do this whole process, it costs around 663 Swiss francs. We we're going to sell our product at market price um, before everything that happened with COVID. This was at around 1,142 Swiss francs. So for every reaction that we do, we see a profit of around 479 Swiss francs. And for our demo plant, which we plan to have operational by 2020, this will produce around 5,500 tons of chemicals per year. And once operational, it will generate net profits of about 1.1 million Swiss francs. Now, Depoly consists of business coaches that are helping us. We're a part of accelerators, incubators, and we work with industrial partners. But the core team is myself, Chris, and Bardia. We've been in the same lab for around five years, and combined, we have over 30 years of chemistry and chemical engineering experience. I've had the pleasure to travel with them to present the company um, all over Switzerland and to some other countries as well. Um, and while we do take our work very seriously, we often try and talk about things that are not work related. Usually this is done, for example, in a pub. But with COVID, we've had to use other technological um, advancements to help us do this. For example, communicating over Skype um, or Zoom. And one thing that really drives me, and I think really drives the company also, is the fact that we want to leave the world in a better place than it currently is. Growing up, my parents had always told me, if you get something from somebody, you should always give it back in a better condition. And I think that really applies to the environment and also to what we're driven towards. As a chemist, I'm also very passionate towards chemistry. So combining chemistry as well as trying to help the environment, this is what's really pushing me and us to help bring Depoly into the, the state on a global stage, which we think that it should be. And this will be helping to solve the plastic problem. So with this, I want to support, I want to ask, uh, I want to thank everybody. And with the support of investors who are looking to make a social and an environmental impact, we can move one step closer to solving the plastic problem. Thank you very much.